the playground of Europe. The land of milk and honey. Switzerland. Hello and welcome to AWZ. Don't forget to subscribe. Let's travel together to Switzerland. Switzerland is a landlocked country in the middle of Europe. It is 41,290 square kilometers, 15,942 square miles, in size and stretches 348 kilometers, 216 miles east to west and 220 kilometers, 137 miles north to south. In comparison, Switzerland is just a little less than twice as big as New Jersey. Switzerland, which is officially called the Swiss Confederation, is a small country in the middle of Europe. It is made up of the Alps, lakes, and valleys that were carved by glaciers. It is one of the richest countries in the world and has been known for a long time for not taking sides in wars. In 1291, cantons joined together to protect themselves. This was the start of the Swiss Confederation. The Confederation broke away from the Holy Roman Empire in 1499. In 1848, a new constitution turned the Confederation into a centralized federal government, ending a time of fighting. Since then, things have been pretty calm in the country. The CIA World Factbook says that Switzerland has low unemployment, a skilled labor force, and one of the highest GDPs per person in the world. Low corporate tax rates, a well-developed service sector led by financial services, and a high-tech manufacturing industry all contribute to the country's strong economy. Switzerland is a federal republic, which means that it is made up of 26 cantons and Bern is the administrative capital. Most of the country's people live in towns and cities. The largest is Zurich, which is also the most cosmopolitan. The country is proud of its diversity, and different parts of it have their own unique cultures. German, French, Italian, and Romance are all official languages of their countries. Even though the country is small, it has made a big impact on culture. People from Switzerland have won more Nobel Prizes and filed more patents per person than people from most other countries. And because it was neutral during times of war, some of the best minds in the world, like James Joyce, George Byron, and Voltaire, moved there. Switzerland is also known for having a banking system that is very secretive. Reporting rules and laws have made things more open, but secrecy rules still exist, and non-residents can do business through offshore companies and other middlemen. Switzerland's neighbors in Europe have respected the country's neutrality for a long time. Switzerland didn't take a side in either of the world wars, and it is not a member of the European Union. Because of this, international organizations like the International Committee of the Red Cross and the United Nations like to have their headquarters in Switzerland, especially in Geneva. Switzerland didn't join the UN until 2002, though. The country is also a member of the World Bank, IMF, and WTO. Nature Most of the Swiss Alps are over 13,000 feet high and covered with snow, 4,000 meters. Matterhorn, at 14,692 feet, 4,478 meters, is the most well-known peak, but Duferspitz, at 15,203 feet, is the tallest, 4,634 meters. Scientists are worried that the Swiss Alps glaciers have lost a lot of ice over the past 40 years. This may have something to do with global warming. If the glaciers melt quickly, it could flood the villages below. The mountains are where most of the animals in Switzerland live. In the early 1800s, hunters nearly killed off the ibex, a type of mountain goat. Since then, the species has been brought back, and there are now more than 15,000 ibex living in the Swiss Alps. Hikers may also see marmots and chamois, which look like goats. In Switzerland's forests, you can also find deer, rabbits, foxes, badgers, squirrels, and many types of birds. Popular Activities the Swiss are a nation of skiers and mountain climbers, which makes sense given the country's geography. 
The most popular places to ski are in Vaud, Valais, and Zermatt, where the Matterhorn Mountain is the main attraction. Shooting, ice hockey, and football are also very popular. Hornessen, a type of alpine baseball that was invented in Switzerland in the 1600s, is also a very popular sport. Teams try to hit a noose, a type of puck, as far as possible into the other team's field with a shingle, a big stick that looks like a golf club. Away from the ski slopes and after the snow melts in the spring, the mountains have a lush, green landscape that is usually empty of skiers. In Switzerland, people who like more down-to-earth fun can always find a wide range of food, drink, and good times with German, French, and Italian flavors. Religions a report from 2002 said that about 44% of people were Roman Catholic, 47% were Protestant, 4.5% were Muslim, and about 1% were Orthodox Christian. There are about 17,577 Jews and 11,748 Old Catholics. About 1 in 10 people said they didn't belong to any religion. There is no official state church, and people are free to practice any religion they want. But with the money they get from taxes, all of the cantons give money to at least one of three traditional religions, Roman Catholic, Old Catholic, or Protestant. In all cantons, people who do not officially...
the Alpine region of Graubunden is a very unique place to be. Here, you can relax and cool off by dipping your toes in the water and getting in touch with nature. If you love an adrenaline rush, you can hike up the Rocky Mountains or try out the biking trails. 8. Sundays are important. On Sundays in Switzerland, you can't mow your lawn, hang out your laundry, hammer, or do anything else that might wake up your neighbors. People don't like to work on Sundays, so just relax, shut the doors, read a book, or spend the day with friends and family. 9. You can't choose any name for your child. In Switzerland, it is against the law to give a child a name that could hurt the child. When the government told Swiss musician Christine Lauterberg she couldn't call her daughter Lexicon, she took advantage of this right. Jonathan's phonetic spelling, Janaden, and the letter J as a child's fourth name are not allowed because they could be misunderstood and pronounced wrong in German. There are also some names you can't give your children. 10. The World's Third Happiest Country the idea of livability is used to figure out which parts of the world have the best or worst places to live. They look at five main areas, stability, healthcare, culture and environment, education, and infrastructure. People say that Zurich and Geneva are two of the most fun and easy to live in cities in the world. Statistics show that Switzerland has a strong sense of community and a strong belief that it is a safe and clean country. Switzerland is one of the safest places in the world, along with Iceland and Denmark. This is all for now. Check out other videos on our channel. Enjoy!